welcome back to Tech Time with you guys. Um, today we have 2011 Nissan Versa and we do a quick uh, change on um, sway bar link on the passenger side. Let's go for it. And I have the parts here from Advanced Auto which is for its uh, Moog steering suspension. The part number is K750098. Either left or the right, the same part number, so it should be okay either left or right. But today we're doing the right side. Alright, first thing what you do is um, to uh, pick up the car, uh, which we will have to remove the tires for better access. So use a, a jack and a jack stand. Jack stand for support. You want to do that? Take out the wheels. Um, is that uh, what's called a cover? And take out the four uh, lug nuts. So take out the four lug nuts. Guys, as you can see, um, the, the sway ball link, uh, the rubber is actually cracked and it's ripped apart, so on top and the bottom. And um, usually it holds the uh, oil in there, and um, that's what, uh, it's not oil, like a grease, like very thick grease, and um, which is a movable part, but it holds the grease in there, that's what the rubber for, but right now there's no grease at all, because it's all ripped apart, so that's why I'm, I'm uh, changing it. As you can see, it's ripped apart, so we need to change right away. You can see um, the uh, the bolt is very rusted. So what you want to do is use a liquid wrench. So you spray a little bit to the, the bolt, so it way, that way it's uh, losing the grease, the the, the the rust a little bit. So let's set it like a, uh, a couple of minutes, so it penetrate and take out the rust. So it'll be easier to take out the bolt. You guys, uh, to take out the um, the bolt, you need a 14 mm socket and a ratchet, and also you need a uh, wrench, 14 mm wrench as well. Because like, <coughs> excuse me, because um, the when you try to take out uh, with the, the the socket and the wrench, the ratchet, and it actually the bolt is moving with it, so you need to lock the. Um, the bolt from behind is a plate, right, right behind the plate. Use the wrench, 40 mm wrench, hold it in place, and then you can use a socket to take out the, um, the bolt. You can see that this here, this is where you want to take out the bolt with the 40 mm socket and a um, ratchet. And the wrench, you gotta put, and there's a metal plate right here. There's a, you gotta hold that in place. And then you can actually, I can see. Your eye is moving. So when you, when you try to take out the um, the bolt without the uh, ratchet in the back, it just keeps spinning, so it's not coming out at all. So you got a hole in place. I can see it's moving. I just want to show you. That's all. And then you just put in place. Then you use a ratchet and a socket to take it out. Alright, guys. Actually, it's actually coming out right now. So basically, I don't want to take it out completely. Because I want to do the bottom first, so this will help out to uh, pull the uh, sway bar in place. So that way it doesn't. So I can see you can actually move your by your finger now. So I don't want to get out. So just leave it here for now, and then come back for it. Okay. Okay. Basically, this is the back uh, portion of the bolt. Um, what you want to do? Use a 14 mm socket. Uh, not a socket. This is a wrench. Um, just hold it in place so it won't move. And. Uh, once you hold it in place, you use another, um, I believe it's going to be not a wrench, so it's going to be no space, or you can squeeze in the, um, the socket, 14 mm socket, go for it, but to take out the, um, the nut. So you guys, um, I can see I'm using like three different uh, wrench right now, uh, 14 mm, two 14 mm and a short one. So basically, um, I'm using one uh, 14 mm wrench to hold the, um, uh, they're in the back, so it um, actually you, you put it and, and we'll use 
after yeah, I was at uh, Taiwan end to um, pull in place at, on that one wrench, 40 millimeter wrench for the back of the, um, the bolt. And then use another uh, wrench, a 40 millimeter wrench, you want to do is um, you want to break. Because right now it's like so um, it's rusty. You want to break the uh, the nut first. And yeah, I'm using another one. It's a 40 millimeter uh, wrench. And then, but I am not strong enough to do this. I'm not a Superman or anything like that. And I use a, a short uh, wrench for uh, additional leverage. And that's what it is. So this is in place which the, uh, the tower end is holding it, and then you just take it out. All right, once you break the, uh, the nut, you wanna take it out, you wanna switch it, use the, um, the ratchet wrench to take out the bolt, and use the regular wrench to uh, lock in place. Lock in place, and then you wanna take out the bolt, because you are losing it. Now you take out the bolt by your hand. Once you remove the, um, the bolt from the um, after the nut, the bottom one to take out the top one. Okay, I can see you guys. Um, we got both nuts out, and I can see it's very hard to take out the sway bar. Whoa, this is hard, man. Uh, because uh, the uh, too much tension on the bolt between the top and the bottom bolt. Um, I can't take out the sway bar. So what we're gonna do is check up the low control arm a little bit, so uh, it go up, so the, um, the uh, there's less tension, losing the tension, so that way we can take out the uh, sway bar. So that's what I'm doing right now. So recommend that because you do not want to uh, bang out the uh, sway bar because you don't want to break the um, or bend the bracket of the um, the strut here. That is a bracket right here. So we'll just check it out a little bit and lose out the tension. There you go, I think that's it. As you can see, um, by raising up the lower control arm, you actually um, get the bolt is right, less tension. So you just remove it, I can see, nice and easy. Move from the top and then remove the bottom. And that is what the uh, sway bar looks like. I can see it's very ripped and there's no grease left. So dried on both sides. The rubber is ripped, and I, and there's no grease at all in there. But you still have grease in here. That's why you use a rubber for. And that's this one there with the bottom one. And here's the top, same way. And that knife is too loose. It's, it's probably really stiff. And this one here, that like gone, should not be like that. That's why I need to do a change in the sway bar. Here's the new one. I can see there's the old, uh, old one right here. There's the new one. So what you want to do is before you install it, you want to compare and make sure the same length and everything, so which is looking good. And as you can see, I just want to show you this is what I was talking about. This is very stiff, not dangling like the old one. It's probably this way. And you can see the other one was like, look at that. That is a different. So you barely move this. And this one is just dangling. So that's why we need to replace it with a new one in here. As you can see also, I um, just want to show you the difference between the old one and the new one. The, the old one actually is only one time use only. And it's, you cannot maintain it. And um, to put the new one, because this one has no nipple on it. So the new one here actually have a nipple which you can actually add grease when, when, you, when you need it. So that's what I'm doing. And that's what the new one has. It's actually nippled. You can add the grease through here. All right, um, what you wanna do first is um, I'm trying to put in a, but well, actually I'm not trying, I'm going to put a grease into the, the, the ball joint. So what you wanna do is loose the, the nipple of it first. And then you use the uh, grease can to put some uh, grease in, into it. There it goes, it's pretty loose. If you don't lose it, the grease will not, will not go in there. So um, the next one to do is uh, we're going to loosen the tip of the grease can first. It's loose, and then you want to insert into the uh, the nipple. 
Once you insert it to the nipple, then you want to tighten back the uh, goose gun uh, tip. That way it's hold. Just like that. Okay, um, once uh, you tighten it, I can see right here this rubber, which is um, part of the. Once you. Right now, like, it's very flexy. So uh, once you put the um, goose in there, it's going to be tight. Just want to show you that part of it. So what you want to do is just pump in the grease. Slowly. Hold on a little bit. As you can see, the, the rubber right now is pretty, uh, so there's a lot of pressure in there. It's a lot of, uh, basically a lot of grease in there. And it's very bubbly right now. It's like pretty tight. That's why it's go slow on it. Almost done. Right, I think it's good. When you see it, when, it's, when you know it's good, you actually see like a, a grease actually coming out from there where the, the rubber is. Once it's full, you just take a loosen the grease gun and take out. The nipple. There you go. Once you um, take it out, and you, what you want to do is uh, tighten out the nipple back. Just tight enough, but not too. You don't want to strip it either. Okay. That's it, pretty tight, and just wipe down the grease, and you're good to go. Okay, so you want to do is um, install the uh, straight bar. So I'm doing the top one first. Go we'll line up there the hold. Put the nut in. It, um, the new sway bar it comes with a new nut, so use by your hand first, and then you want to tighten it with the, a wrench. And now right there, and now let's go to the bottom one. Okay, just uh, leave the top for now, and just put it on the bottom one. I'll line it up. Put the nut in the back. Use your hands for a finger and then uh, use the uh, wrench afterward. 14 millimeter wrench. So just don't line it up, that's all we're doing. Alright, for the back uh, uh, back of the bolt, you want to use it's 18 millimeter. It's a new uh, a sway bar, so it's new. Uh, um, it's 18 millimeter um, wrench for the back to hold in place. And then you want to use the um, socket. It's a it's 15 millimeter socket for the front. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, for the bottom one, there's no room, so I'm using the 18 millimeter to hold the back one. Uh, and then use the um, 15 millimeter um, wrench bracket to uh, do the. Um, Put in the bar, uh, what they call the nut. Tighten the nut with a 15 millimeter wrench ratchet. All right, thanks, guys, uh, for watching for Tech Time with T. Um, that is how you uh, change a, a sway bar link. And uh, for the top one, you actually can use the the wrench and a socket with a wrench. Also, the bottom one you cannot because you gotta be creative about it. You have to can use a uh, two wrench, one hole in the back, and then you um, do the front. Um, also, you gotta use the um, the wrench ratchet. Just be creative. There's no room to play around with. If I um, can use the socket, I want to use the socket, but if you cannot. It's no space back uh, on the bottom one. But the top one is pretty a little easier than uh, the bottom. So thank you for watching Tech Time with T. Please do not forget to subscribe. Um, uh, two thumbs up, like, 
And also, um, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Hope you like it, and there are more to come. Thank you, yeah, have a good day.